All right, so I know y'all like, oh my gosh, oh my God, that's an early age. Man, listen. Back when I was 13, man, hey, these the females, they was going crazy, no cap, no cap. He ain't lying. <laughs> What's good, Trail Mafia? It's your boy Matt back with another video. Today I'll be giving y'all a story time how I lost my virginity at the age of 13. All right, before I get into the video, I just want to say this. Ma, if you're watching this, go ahead and click off the video. You don't want to see this. Hey, and if you're watching it, hey, I got to get this money. All right, so I'm just at the house chilling. It's spring break. I ain't got nothing to do. I ain't doing nothing in spring break. So it's around, it's in April. So I'm just sitting at the crib. I'm scrolling through Instagram, you know what I'm saying? Having a normal day on the game, probably watching some Netflix or some YouTube or something. So I scroll on Instagram and I see this girl had went live. So I joined her live and she was like, oh y'all push up, I'm finna have a barbecue. And at the barbecue, we gonna do a little boxing, boxing gloves. So folks supposed to be boxing. So I was like, okay, I might pull up to this. Let me, let me hit my boy Myron up. So my boy Myron, my, my dude, my homeboy since seventh grade, I believe seventh grade, and he lived like a couple houses up from me in my neighborhood. So I hit Myron up, I'm like, hey bro, I got a move for us, bro. You trying to go to this barbecue and watch this boxing match or whatever? And he was like, yeah, 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 we can slide, we can slide. So I was like, all right, cool. So I was like, all right, I'm finna start walking up there. But he was like, all right, go ahead and go on and walk and I'm gonna meet you there. So I was like, all right, cool, because, you know what I'm saying, the girl, she don't live too far from me. It's walking distance, so I'm walking there, you know what I'm saying? It ain't none of me. I walk a lot, so they want none of me. So I get halfway, and my boy Myron hit me up, and he was like, hey, I'm right here. Just wait on me. So I'm waiting on Myron and jump. So we pull up there. We the only people there. It's me, him, and I think, like, three other girls. So... We just there, we chilling and stuff, waiting on everybody else to come. So I guess we, time flying, so we like, man, I don't think nobody else gonna come. So this one girl, I'm gonna call her Gumdrop. Gumdrop was like, hey y'all, let's play Truth or Dare. So we playing Truth or Dare or whatever. And out of nowhere, somebody said, hey Matt, I dare you to grab Gumdrop titties. And I was like, oh shit. I was like, hey, it ain't nothing to me. I was like, come on. So me and me and Gumdrop walk over there by the uh, trees, and she go ahead and lift her shirt up. So I was like, all right, cool. So I go ahead and hood. Cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm a young, I'm a young teen, man. So you know I'm doing that off rip. You feel me? So I go ahead and do that. So we get back over there, and they was like, man, this junk born. Let's go play hide and go get. So you know what I'm saying? Me and my boy Myron, we just huh, it's two boys, three girls. So we huh, off rip. I'm counting first. So we telling them to go hide and jump. So me and me and my 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 me uh, blah 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 blah. Woo, woo, woo. Me and my boy. <laughs> Myron, we was um uh, counting first or whatever. So the girls wanna go hide or whatever. So we so I'm automatically looking for gumdrop because gumdrop had done already let me grab her titties or whatever. So I'm going ahead and going straight for her. Uh, so I went over there. I found her. But when we was, you know what I'm saying? Somebody had done called. And they was like, hey, we finna pull up, we outside. And mind you, Gumdrop was talking to the dude at the time. It was him and two other dudes. So Gumdrop was talking to the dude at the time. So I had to back off, cause me and dude was cool. But I didn't know they was talking until she told, she told me. So she was like, basically, hey man, I talked to dude. So when he get here, don't be, you feel me? So I was like, all right, cool. But there's two other girls there already. So I went ahead and, I was like, all right, cool, I'm just gonna hop on this girl. I'm, I'm gonna name her Skittle. So I'm just gonna hop on Skittle, right? So we just chilling or whatever, and people just start pulling up. And remember when I said the dudes had pulled up, he came with some more dudes. He, the dude, other dude, girlfriend came. So we went in the house, cause her dad wasn't there at the time. So we went in the house. We just all chilling in the house, man. So all the little couples or whatever, they had done dispersed off. So we was like, dang, so they went on and dispersed off. And I guess you know what they went up, you know what they went to go do, you know what I'm saying? We got folks upstairs in the living room, you know they went to go do, you know what they went to go do, my bad. So me and Skittle, we just chilling, 
me, Skittle, Myra, and this other girl, we just chilling in the um in the garage. We just chilling. So I said, Skittle, come and sit on my lap. So Skittle going to sit on my lap. You know what I'm saying? So we playing Uno. Skittle sitting on my lap while we playing Uno. You feel me? So then Uno got born, I guess. So I did not just ease my way up Uno shirt. I mean, not Uno shirt. Skittle shirt. My bad. So I was like, Skittle, what's up? But mind you, I'm a virgin, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, you feel me? Just I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to grab. You feel me? I ain't really thinking about doing nothing like that for real. So I'm just trying to grab or whatever. So then me, me and um, me and Skittle, we walked to the kitchen. I left Myron and uh, old girl in the, in the garage. So we walked to the kitchen and then we started kissing and I started grabbing on her booty or whatever. And then, next thing you know, you hear Myron them in there. Oh, jump, her dad home. So everybody that's upstairs in the living room, everywhere, all the boys that, that was there, we weren't supposed to be there, I guess. So we had all ran. We, we, we went upstairs and like her house, how the girl house was set up. Behind the house, it's a, it's a neighborhood with a cul-de-sac in it. You can get to the cul-de-sac from behind her house. So. Everybody ran upstairs. Her dad walked in. And while her dad coming in, we jumping out the top window. Her house is two stories. So we jumped out the window onto the back porch off the top. We jump, boom, hit the floor. So we run to the cul-de-sac. And one of the dudes, he left his shoes, his phone. He left a lot of stuff there. So we had to wait on the females. So we waiting for about five, five, seven, five minutes, something like that, for them to bring the stuff to the cul-de-sac so we can go ahead and dip. So we go ahead and dip off or whatever. Me and Myron had walked back to his crib and everybody else had done went somewhere else. I don't know where they had went. So I feel like a couple days went by. My bad, man, somebody had done called me. But like I was saying though, a couple days had done went by or whatever. And we ain't talked to the females or nothing. So then boom, out of nowhere, Skittle hit me up, was like, you know what I'm saying? You ain't on nothing, you ain't on nothing. So I was like, who ain't on nothing? So I was like, go, go back to Gumdrop House and I'm, you gonna find out on some virgin shit. So I'm like, all right, cool. Me and her virgin at the time, but she a freak. And I ain't gonna lie to you, she a freak. On God, no cap, on God. No cap, on God. On God, no cap. On God, no cap, on God. So I was like, hey, man. They want us to come back over there this weekend. So it's the weekend before we go back to school from spring break. So he like, all right, cool, bet, bet, bet. So, you know what I'm saying? We walk over there, it's early about 12, one o'clock. Gumdrop had a new boyfriend or whatever. Me and him was already cool, you know what I'm saying? He had went to our school, our middle school at the time. So it's me, Gumdrop, her boyfriend, Skittle, Myron, and they other friend. And we just all chilling in the living room and junk. And next thing you know, cause her dad was here this time and he was cooking. So he had to run to the store to get something. So we was like, all right, how this finna play out? So her dad had left, but he was like, he not finna be gone long. So we were just chilling, playing Uno like we was doing last time. And I guess he came back or whatever. And then while he was gone, another girl had done pulled up. And we cool with her as well. So she had pulled up, cause I guess her little boyfriend was supposed to be coming at the time too. You could, I guess you could call Gumdrop House the, you know what I'm saying? The spot, you feel me? The spot where it go down at. But back to the story though. So yeah, so her dad, her dad was gone. And the other girl had done pulled up. So then he came back when she was coming in. He spoke to her parents and then he came back in. And I guess he had forgot something at the store. So he left back out. And this time when he left back out, she was like, okay, boom, we gonna go ahead and go. So me and Skittle went to the back, gumdrop and her dude went upstairs and Myron and, and Shorty had went to the uh, gym, the gym room, whatever. So me and Shorty get back, on, back there. So we sitting down on the bed. And she was like, you really want to do this? And I was like, yeah, I'm with whatever, what you trying to do? She was like, I'm whatever, what you want? So 
You know what I'm saying? I whipped the condom out of my pocket because I had already knew what was going on. I got the condom from Meyer, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Meyer. So I'm already knowing what's finna go down. So I'm like, all right, cool. Let me um, take everything in my pockets and shit. Because I my, I had on a hoodie, joggers. I was layered up. It was kind of, it was raining that day, I believe. Yeah, it was raining that day. I was layered up because I didn't want to get rained on walking back home or walking there. So, you know what I'm saying? I took, I took my phone and stuff out of my pocket, pulled a condom out of stuff. And then I was like, come on. She was like, all right, pull your pants down. And I was like, go ahead, you go ahead. And pull. So we, we taking our clothes off at the same time. I ain't really take my clothes all the way up. I just pull my pants down and pull my drawers down, you feel me? And I lifted my shirt up and shit. So we finna do it, so I'm putting on the condom, right? So she been thrown over on the bed or whatever. So then I, st I stuck it in. My nigga. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. But mind you, I'm thinking before I'm before I did, I'm a virgin, so I'm like, man, this is gonna be good. This this not gonna be good. This gonna be the best thing ever. But mind you, when after I did that, I was like, nah, bro, this ain't even this overrated. To be honest, it was really overrated. So I did it for about I want to say a minute and thirty seconds, and I was like, nah, I'm cool. So I was like, I gotta get my nut or whatever. So she was like, all right. So then I was like, go ahead and suck me up. This is my first time getting head too. So this her first time giving head too. So I'm like, alright, go ahead. So I, I put her, I grabbed her hair or whatever. And she was on her knees and I was standing up. And while she was doing it, my mom called. And my mom was like, where you at? And I was like, none, I'm I'm over here uh in by my house and we just chilling, playing the game. And she was like, oh alright. So then I hung up on her. And I kept going. She kept going. And she was doing it for about five minutes. It was better, it was better than the it was better than the uh when my boy when my boy AJ be saying it was better than the viscosity. You feel me? It was way better than that. So she doing it for about five minutes. And then the girl that had pulled up and the the, the that gumdrop dad was talking to parents, she ran to the back. And she was like, oh, 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 gum drop dad back, gum drop dad back. But she was just playing. So we ran out the room. I didn't even get to put my pants up for real, for real. So I got my jacket over my junk like, oh, oh. And she was like, no, I'm just playing. So we went back in the room and she kept going, you feel me? And I finally finished. And I tell you, but that junk felt so good. But it was, it was sloppy, bro. It was everywhere. So we in gumdrop big brother room and he got clothes on his bed so i just grabbed one of his shirts and said huh like not caring wipe my junk off you feel me and pull my stuff back up got situated and right when i was coming out the room her dad had pulled up so i'm grabbing i'm grabbing my stuff so we run back to the back to the garage because that's where everybody was at when he had left so everybody you got gumdrop and her dude running down the steps myron and his shorty running out the gym room and um, me and Shorty running from the back from her brother room. So we sit down, my shoes ain't on, and my pants halfway pulled down. They ain't pulled all the way up, they halfway pulled down. So I'm sitting here looking at her dad coming to the door. And, she, and her dad was like, and he was looking at us. And he went back in the kitchen. And like an hour later, me and Myron walked back home. And that was that, that's some, that's the story of how I lost my virginity, man. Um, If you knew, that's the end of the video. So if you're new, like, comment, subscribe, share this video. I'm trying to hit 1K, you feel me? When I hit 1K, I'm going to have y'all special bid. Special bid at 1K, you feel me? So yeah, man. Y'all be easy. Video. Another video finna drop by weekend, you feel me? Y'all be easy. Peace.